Louis Jacques Mande Daguerre was born on 18 November 1787 in Comelis and Paris's Val de Ois, France. Daguerre studied as an apprentice in theatre design, architecture, and panoramic painting. Daguerre nursed the idea of creating a diorama theatre in 1821 and shared the idea with Charles Bolton. Together, they worked on the theatre, with Daguerre creating the light and scenic effect, while Bolton concentrated on the painting. In 1822, they completed the first diorama theatre in Paris with the first exhibit shown on two screens. This made him a celebrated designer. The diorama recorded success and had estimated profits of about 200,000 francs, which led to the rise of imitators trying to build their own theatres. The diorama grew above the imitators, prospering for a few years until it was burned down in 1830. It was Daguerre's only source of income and was almost a tragic event, but for the fact that it was already at its end. A year before the theatre burned down, Daguerre had partnered with Nicefor Nipsey, an inventor of the world's first heliograph. Before his association with Daguerre, Nipsey had used the coating of bitumen in Judea to make a permanent camera photograph. But the bitumen was hard when it was exposed to light. The hardened part was then removed with the solvent. They needed to create a camera exposure that could last for days or hours. So together, Nipsey and Daguerre refined the process. Nipsey died in 1833, leaving Daguerre to concentrate on the light-sensitive properties of silver salt, a process that was named daguerreotype. But at the initial stage, the process required long exposure to produce an image that could be seen. With more concentration, Daguerre created a shorter exposure that could be chemically developed into a visible image. When he first saw the image he created, he said, I have seized the light, I have arrested its flight. Daguerre tried to get private investors but never succeeded. He then took his invention public in 1839 at the meeting of the French Academy of Sciences. There, he described his invention in a general way that specific details were withheld. His daguerreotype became the Polaroid film used and was in portrait form with a unique image that could only be reproduced using a camera to photograph the original. This was a setback in his invention. Still, millions of daguerreotypes were produced. The French government then bought the rights to Daguerreotype's invention and gave lifetime pensions to Daguerre and Isidore, the son of Nipsey. The French government also presented the invention to the entire world on 19th August 1839 as a free gift, except for the United Kingdom that had to pay for the license as Daguerre had, through his agent, Miles Berry, applied for a British patent just days before France declared the invention free to the world. Unknown to Daguerre and William Henry Fox Talbot, Daguerre's work coincided with William's photographic experience in England. William had created the capturing of small camera images in 1835, though he kept it silent until 1839. At hearing about Daguerre's invention, William assumed that his method must have been used. He immediately wrote an open letter to the French Academy claiming the priority of the invention. But after scrutiny on both inventions, it became apparent that the Guerre's process was different from William's. The girl died on July 10, 1851, at Bryce or Maine, from a heart attack, and his grave is marked with a monument. He was honored by the French government by inscribing his name among the 72 names on the Eiffel Tower. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.